All right, you good. Good afternoon. Uh, due to the current COVID-19 crisis, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020, order suspending certain provisions of open meeting law, this meeting of the Sutton Source Commissioners is being held remotely via Zoom. To join the meeting, visit us at www.zoom.us slash join. The meeting will be broadcast and recorded on public access station Verizon 31, Charter Spectrum 191, and live stream on Town's YouTube channel when available. Pursuant to the MGL Chapter 30A, Section 20, no person shall address a meeting uh, of a public body without permission of the chair. Individuals who would like to participate should state their names and address after being recognized by the chairperson. In an effort to ensure transparency to our viewers at home, the chat function is not available. With all commissioners uh, present, I, Neil Kreitz, Chairman, declare February 10th, 2021 meeting to order. Are we all set? Yeah. Uh, first on our agenda would be the minutes of our last meeting, which uh, we all have copies of. That was held on December 16th, 2020, being that our January meeting was postponed. Having read that, read that in advance, I'll make a motion to pass the minutes. Okay. Any uh, discussion? No. No, it looks pretty, pretty good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Minutes uh, passed. Next on the agenda, I'm going to move to articles. Uh, the Sutton Sewer Commissioners are going to be sponsoring. Uh, coming up, uh, Donald. I uh, guess we'll enhance a little bit on them. The first one is an upgrade and replace pumps, roughly approximately 60 to 80,000. Uh, Donald, can you tell me how often we do this? Uh, usually needs to do it. I remember it in the past. Well, as I discussed the last meeting that we had over there, we need some kind of uh, uh, equipment that's uh, related to our operational cost, our, our operation. And uh, we just we just used that last actuary that we had for our decant uh, uh, weir. And uh, the reason why I, I'm going to appropriate is there's a six to eight week uh, hold on, on receiving anything. You know, whether it be pumps, motors, anything that's related to the day-to-day -day operations there. And uh, uh, that that's the purpose of the sponsoring this article. I, I combined a bunch of articles. I mean, I pumps and everything into one article. Uh, the other one is for uh, uh, Leland Hill project up there. We just had a, a trouble with uh, one of the pumps. We had to convert everything over to a, uh, a, a the problem is we got a single phase up there. And uh, this is going to be an ongoing project that we got up there. It's going to be a continuous problem when you convert one phase into three phase. Everything's three phased up there. So anyhow, that, that alone is about $22,000 just for that there. I replaced I'm one already. Upgrade, you know, having spare items on hand to keep operations up to date. Is oh, definitely. Discussion on this, uh, Cal or Jack? Which pump station was it in Leland? Excuse me. What was the pump? What pump station was? Uh... That's the uh, uh, Partridge Hill. Okay. Partridge. That's the one we just accepted a couple of years ago. The problem with that day, and we had the same issue when we started building this plant here. When you get single phase up there, everything's three phase. And when you get single phase and then you put your converters in there, you're guaranteed to burn out motors. It's a matter of if, when, if and when. And you're looking at a year and a half, two years, you're going to be burning out motors. So I'm trying to convert that all over to uh, eliminate the uh, uh, lifespan on that there. So that's. I'm sorry, Don. What do you convert it to? You convert it to three phase? Do you have. No, no, you, you can't. It's, it's more of a. Uh, uh, Starting. It's a starting problem, I think. Well, yeah, it's it, yeah, you're right. It's it's just the uh, I converted to help uh, uh, 
the strain on, on those pumps and everything, I had to convert the pumps over and all the electrical panels into a single phase, which was never done when I originally took this over. I mentioned that prior to accepting this pump station that it's going to require perpetual care, and that's exactly what what's, uh, uh, what's transpiring here anyhow. We already got uh, we already replaced the uh, one motor and uh, whole electrical panel capacitors blow out. That's the biggest. Yeah, that's the biggest thing in there. So that's where we're at with that. Anyhow, I, I we've got till March seventeenth. So uh, we've got some other issues over here that I'm, I'm waiting for pricing on, and it's uh, more uh, in regards to uh, people's tanks and things like that. They are, uh, the pressure valve. They're no longer making that. So. I trying to get something in stock here for, uh, you know, to assist the homeowner in case something happens. I just used my last pressure valve last week for a homeowner. So, and, uh, you know, that's, that's where we're at here with that. So, Is this why we're in the range of, uh, uh, 68, 60 to 80,000. That's correct. I haven't got a pinpoint. I, they haven't even given me an alternative yet. I mean, right now it seems like it's a costly alternative to, uh, uh, you know, for those pumps and tanks. I mean, we're the ones who sold them to the homeowners. You know what I mean? And this but I understand one, that. Yeah. yeah. And again, we're looking, you know, uh, you know, 12, or 12, 15 years already that we've been here on these there right now. And uh, I just want to make sure I have things on hand to, to help the homeowner in case of emergency. So, I mean, right now, if we don't have that pressure valve, the only thing they have to do is manually go outside and run the pump on hand. You know, because that's the level indicator for the tanks and that. And uh, that's something that I wasn't aware of till I went to go out of some more and come to find out that they they don't uh, they don't make that anymore. So just like everything else we got here, everything's been obsolete and we're just trying to stay on top of things. You know? So yeah. how many of those uh, valves exist that might go? In Sutton? In Andre? Uh, no, I'll say a good 30, 40. In the main truck area. These are the, the, the places where they need to use the grinder pump? That's right? right. All the Huff Road. You know what I mean? Everybody on low elevations. There's a couple down in the uh, uh, lower Main Street in uh, Manchard. So I got, you know. So anyway, I just want to make sure I have something on hand to try to help the system. Right now is I'm just waiting for callbacks on this here now. So I mean, we, we do have time for our articles. You know what I mean? That's why we told you it was March 17th. They had to be in with the uh, town clerk. So we got one more uh, one more round. Well, is this something that you want us to vote on today? Or do you want to hold it to the March 10th? I mean, I'm a little worried about if there's any emergency comes up within the state or something that we may not be able to have a meeting. I'm not sure. Well, I, to be honest with you, Mr. Chairman, I'd rather give you a concrete number. You know what I mean? Okay. And, you know what I mean? Instead of going between 60 and 80, it seems, you know, I'd rather get, get it pinpointed a little bit. I yeah, like that idea to too. Find a little more, so we'll have time on that. We'll schedule our next meeting. So, any Cal or uh, Jack have anything more to say on this? We delay until the next meeting and have an exact number from uh, Donald to sponsor. Just one more question, um, uh, Neil. Uh, Don, so um, with this um, sixty to eighty thousand, does that mean that you have, uh, you know, backup pumps and act generators, whatever you need for? All of the all of the stations, or just some of them, or no? I mean, yeah, right now is that uh, yeah, I'm worried about my my uh, discharge permit right here at the sewer plant. I mean, I've got to make sure I have replacements on anything that goes because I mean, if you get in the sense, we've had we ran into a little problem here. We have up here every eight hours opening and closing the valve, and then uh, you know until we finally get the part that was required, that was needed, and uh, that's that's my main concern is is meeting the permit. Uh, the uh, the tanks and the pumps this just came up a couple of days ago, you know that we get called out with the and so that all that all through. This has nothing to do with the generators. The generator is a, is a separate article that I that I uh, forward over there. That's for Commerce Park, strictly for pumps and uh, motors and uh, actuators and that. That's all this is for. Well, how's the ones over in Wilkinsonville? Are those grinders working pretty good over there? Or is there any well, problems with those? To be honest with you, I might have one or two that from the Myers, but everything out in Wilkinsonville are E1s, you know, from way back when. I guess, you know, the homeowner ordered the E1 pumps. I got the Myers pumps. And, you know, like I stated before, and I'll say it again, E1s are not user-friendly. The guys that I have that 
the, the work on my pump said, don't call me. They refused to work on him. The only one I know that work on him is somebody out of Southbridge. You know what I mean? A so we sold the, we sold those pumps to the homeowner, I guess, right? Well, we gave it to him. For, for no, no, no. I in Mantra, I gave you all of my is the people purchased them. They they were all purchased. We couldn't buy everyone a pump. That's that 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 wasn't what this was. Uh, uh, Sue Extension was all about. They purchased all that, for the homeowners did. So that's why I mean that's something that we supplied them. We should have at least the parts for them. Is that's that's what my concern is and. Uh, and again, I mean, with this whole thing that just happened, it's just, uh, you know, you know, just more, more on the plate. You know what I mean? Well, Rick, um, what we'll do here is we'll just, this article will be uh, postponed until the March 10th meeting, uh, which at that time we'll have an exact uh, documentation of the amount. Yeah. And, well, I'm not. Uh, I would suggest, Mr. Chairman, with that, that uh, all the articles. We'll talk about all the articles that's going to be sponsored by by the commissioners. We've got this article, and I as we move forward, I'll, I'll explain more what's going on with the other articles. So, so you would like to hold the vote on all these three articles until next that's, month, right? If 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 this well, right. the, well, the second article, Mr. Chairman, we was talking about the generator, and right. I gave you a concrete figure of forty thousand dollars to replace that generator to convert it to propane to natural gas. And that's for the removal and installation of, of the uh, uh, the generator. It's definitely so undersized. That, uh, my, my main question there is, uh, I mean, I'm not familiar with the commercial style of that, but most of the generators and things are convertible. The, the, the uh, jets are converted from propane to natural gas. That's not something that can be done with that generator we have now? No. No. Yeah. No, the, the, the reason to replace that is it, the generator is undersized because undersized. of the impact, okay. the impact of IBA and prime metals, all the more people coming on board that wasn't, you know, again, that was there when uh, uh, originally from the original developer. So that's not good for us. Can I recommend that maybe you, you put that, uh, increase the uh, size of the generator, replace the generator for increased capacity? Sounds more favorable to people when they know why you're replacing it. Yeah, well, well, capacity be honest with you right now. The wet well is what it is. You know what I mean? You're not going to increase the capacity of the, of the wet well. And all it is is going to pop more frequently. You know what I mean? That's okay. You know, well, with, volume, with the volume, right? Additional volume. Maybe the, maybe the words are not exactly there, but I, it's uh, it's not just because of natural gas coming in there. It's because oh no 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 absolutely not. Because the, right right you're absolutely it's because of the businesses that, that that moved in, you know. So will this take place at the time the natural gas line is completed, or is that already done up there? Well, nothing's going to really take place a lot after the approval. Or the, we can't do nothing until July. You know what I mean? Right. And I think by then, I mean all I, from my understanding, all the all the lines are already there. You know what I mean? That uh, the, uh, they were laid out when originally when they put the bridge over there. So I guess there's a, there's a dry line there already. So. So this, you know, uh, that was already installed. You know what I mean? So if I, I guess from my understanding, I was talking with the guys from the, the, the they, uh, they're going to bring the gas right to the entrance of Commerce Park. And uh, that's where we're going to be doing the connection. Any uh, further discussion on this? We'll postpone this article also to the next meeting. Uh, I think the writing of the uh, article should go relate that it's even you know, increased for volume. Aware of it, yeah. Well, I, I have one more question, Neil, on this. Uh, yes, is, there any, um, is there any mechanism to offset any of the cost of the need for the new generator by, um, you know, the size of the uh, population in that industrial pack? Uh, I, I inquired about that with the, uh, 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 who was that? With Jen Hager, I spoke to her about it. She said there was no funds available. And then originally they, uh, I guess Darlene there from the uh, uh, Towns Go, Go Green there, I spoke to her about that about, you know, five, six months prior before. And they were looking into that, but there ain't no funds available whatsoever. Can I look, was ask the, a question? Is there any more, is there any more room for uh, additional industrial park or additional Companies coming into that park. I, I think that park's all built out already. 
Oh, so you're not, so you're, you're probably lower and now you, it, the way that, the way a place is built and the number of people you're getting on your use, on your system is just, is just a, a, a problem with the, you know, when you plan these things, you wonder how many, how much you're going to be pushing through a system that you didn't, you know, that you're guessing at. So, yeah. well, uh, so right yeah. now you, 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 you got to do it because it's, you know, it's, uh, Thomas, it's, it's common it, sense. Uh, it's got, uh, it's, you're getting more, than you, more than you would, uh, uh, planned on. That's all. Yeah. Well, but, uh, just, uh, I may say to Carl, uh, Commerce Park, though, was part of the development that we would, didn't have total control over. It was privately right. owned. We took that over uh, as looking up the town yeah. sewage. Oh, I, I would, I would, yeah, I wouldn't say. And accepting I the road. Think of other, anything other than that. Yeah. yeah. Right. The same with the Myers pumps and the E1 pumps. You know. Right. Right. It'd be nice if you could get them all to all together <laughs> between both systems, Wilkinsonville and and Manchar. Yeah. Well, I mean, as they told me, who, who expected that Prime Meadows would come in with, with uh, two, three hundred more uh, employees? You know what yeah. I mean? That's, well, it. That's I, hard I, to anticipate that, you know what I mean? And, uh, but, well... Well, you had no say in it. So, that's correct. To right. me, because they developed it for, uh, you know, average uh, usage or something like that. I, 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 uh, Is the removal to... of the generator salvageable to our behalf, uh, meaning the parts being saved and used? I think the whole generator can probably be used somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, it's not. It's not like it, it, we're just going to discard it. You know what I mean? It can be used somewhere else. So we will I mean? retain it then. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Could you Mr. use Jimmy. it? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Kyle. In case something else breaks. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I couldn't I, hear you, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Jack, I, I just want to request back to Jack when we were talking about that uh, Partridge Hill there. You asked me about the conversion of that. They, uh, what they do, we have to convert that to BFDs, variable frequent drive pumps, you know what I mean, to, to offset the uh, 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 the pumps. And, and, and uh, that's the reason why it's, we're talking about $22,000, you know what I mean? Every pump's got to have their own BFDs, and that's what, that's what the conversion's all about, so... You know, when you ask that question, there, just I just think that there's need to address that anyhow. So again, you're looking at twenty-two thousand per pump, so it's forty-four thousand dollars. One's done already, but so we're halfway there on that there. Infrastructure, I guess, right? Yeah, well, base power, I guess. There was, again, that was another story behind the story. You know what I mean? That was all supposed to be in private condominiums. The guy bellied up. Somebody else came in, and you know. That's that's the problem that we run into here, you know. So. All right, All right. Uh, tailing that into our next meeting and uh, be more precise with that. Uh, we'll move on to the third article, which is the uh, acceptance of the sewer pump station at seven point five Wildflower Drive, which we discussed uh, in previous weeks. Uh, it's on our list and. Uh, it's taking ownership, correct? Uh, right. I, I I spoke to uh, uh, Jim uh, through email there uh, yesterday, and I guess he talked to town council. Town council feels there's no need to sponsor an article to uh, take it by intimate domain. He feels that he can draw up some language that just the board of selectmen can sign that so that the town can resume uh, ownership of the pump station. And I think that's what we're headed for right now. So, again, that's another reason why we should keep all our articles together, you know, for you know, for next month. But uh, okay. that's, what, that's what town council is, is telling the town right now in regards to Wildfall. Uh, any discussion about that matter? I think we discussed it pretty thoroughly last meeting about what it was and why we were taking it or needed to take it again, ownership of it. I think it's more well that that whole development that whoever the, you got so many different owners when, when it finally went into bankruptcy the guy flipped to Florida it was actually in Florida and they never found him and it was in a tax title for a couple of years and they didn't couldn't locate him to do a proper uh, pass over so uh, 
but it was. I'm, I'm surprised he he, he said that. But, that law, the attorney said that because it, it was he who said you could have done it back in 2012 or something when they got a release for, for all those plots uh, at that time and uh, taken it by eminent domain. So, but if he knows something else, he's the lawyer. So, yeah. I mean, Jeff, just for a footnote on this, on this uh, uh, wildfire. You make me look up the whole thing for you. <laughs> Yeah, no, you did. I'm just, I just forwarded over to him. Everything you gave me, or they, they received. Well, I gave it to Jim. Yeah, and I again, this all happened. This all stayed 1990. Just to let you know, just a footnote for you. That's how all this been. Uh, uh, I don't know if you said tax title or, or it wasn't tax title. Yeah. yeah. All right, just a footnote about the date on that. Post okay, that's very good. So if everybody's in agreement, we're going to again table this until the following meeting of uh, March 10th. It's all right. Um, and so we'll get clarification whether we need to take action on that or wait for the council. Did uh, Jim say the, the selectmen would sponsor and take uh, the action on that? There would, there'd be no article at all. It'd be a matter of the uh, selectmen just no, signing. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. That's, that's the last email okay. I got. That's correct. Enough said. Right. And again, this is just to clean up all this all, all, all this language. That's all this is all about. You know? Okay. Uh, moving forward, uh, we would like to review our annual report, which normally we would do in January, uh, where our meeting was postponed. Um, we basically have a format each year where we fill in the numbers from the previous year. Um, Everything that I looked over, uh, Don and Darlene had verified the math as far as the number of meetings and the numerical numbers. Um, did each member get a ch commissioner, uh, get a chance to read it over and uh, have any recommendations or discussions? I, I did, Neil. Um, it, it goes through what, the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2020. Correct. Right? So I didn't uh, come on board until September yet it's in there. So Seems like you've been here a lifetime already. <laughs> <laughs> so you probably ought to omit my uh, uh, meeting attendance there. All right. Well, we can uh, take that into consideration, understand. But uh, uh, primarily, we want to make sure you uh, see what our report, annual report is. Oh, yeah. No, I did. And, read uh, and we decided the format of many years ago to keep it very fundamental into one page, if we could possibly do. Um, and it's worked out pretty good over the last few years. Uh, I didn't know if there was any, my comment on it was whether it would be any need of us to mention that meetings were uh, delayed or operated via Zoom. I think it's public information to begin with. I don't think it has to be in our report, but I didn't know if, what, if any members had any thought if that should be in there as far as the number of meetings, why it was so low, only five meetings. Pandemic. Right, well, whatever use, whatever word we want to use, if we need to use it. I'm not sure we need to remind the world that we have a problem going on. We need to remind them to be safe. Um, other than that, I'm very happy with the way it's written. And if anybody wants to make a motion, approve the minutes. Uh, uh, the report of the uh, annual, the annual report. report. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, I'll make a motion to be it, that the report would be accepted. I'll second it, uh, but you, know, you I think you should probably take my name. Pat. Yes, yeah, we will. Yeah, well, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. All right. So, All right. Then, uh, so the your minutes. signature won't go on the, in the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I will. Uh, so the motion is that uh, we approve our minutes, uh, physical year ending June 30th, uh, 2020, from July 1, 2019 to June 30th. 2020 with the data uh, all accurately attached to it. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, thank you. And your report is uh, approved for the year. All right, so Mr. Chairman, it's okay to forward that over to town clerk with the uh, 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 that one change, uh, Jack's concern on that change there. We'll, we'll change yes. it. Yes. Okay, all right. All right, very uh, good. 
is uh, when we're all done, when you make a list of anything we need to sign coming in, uh, I'm uh, on limited travel uh, times to sign anything on certain days uh, due to medical. Other than that, you let me know. If that, does that need a signature on it, uh, Don? I no, think we do. Uh, do? Yeah. Okay. I didn't see our names on it. That's why I was yeah, just- Yeah, you're right. Okay. I didn't either. You're right. All right. Well, if it does, just let me know which ones I have to do. Okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, and I see Darlene is with us. Any correspondence, Darlene? Let's see if she responds. No, no correspondence. Nice to hear your voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I always want to make you part of the meeting on these Zoomies. <laughs> Um, next in line would be old business. Um, Don, I, my first one on there is, uh, I'm going to ask the same question as last month. Uh, anything from the state in regards to the damaged uh, sewer line from the uh, drilling a hole in the pipe last year? No, I mean, last, last, we haven't spoke to Jim about that in a couple months now, right? And, uh, uh, and the last I know is that the town accountant went there, said that he was going to get involved with trying to get some reimbursement money from that. So as board members, you think, we, uh, commissioners, should we uh, want to pursue this or just let it be whatever the town can get back from Millbury or not? I, I read it. I would sit down with the town administrator before, you know, we, we come at this forum here and, uh, you know, find out what uh, what avenue we can take. I don't know, if, I don't know what efforts he's been making. You know, towards this, I know they haven't they haven't really got any response on this. Here. They haven't been very responsive on the on our concerns. So, I rather just sit down with the administrator and then I'll uh, I'll get back to the board on this. Here. Everybody satisfied with that? We'll put that. Mm. If you can just do a follow up with us, Don, at the next meeting. On yes, that, I will. Yeah. Yes, I will. Thank yeah. you. Um. <clears throat> Under old business, there is still the sewer expansion, which is currently in the hands of the town manager and selectman, as with a slight pause or a pause, uh, and we'll leave it at that, uh, unless there's a commissioner that wishes to discuss anything about it at this time. Nope. Okay. Um, well, I did, just to give you a footnote, though, I, I think it's important to. Uh, I'll let you know where we're at at this stage here. I guess uh, every time we come to the home stretch, something else comes up. So I guess right now at the February vacation, I believe that can, they're going to be draining that tank out at the school to check the integrity of the tank to see if it's feasible to put a liner in there. So that's what's holding this thing up here right now. And uh, and Jim feels uh, comfortable. Jim feels very admin of getting these questions at, uh, answered now and not on the town floor. So that's Great. that's what's holding us up right now. That I mean, this this one issue, you know, whether or not it'd be cheaper to go that route or whatever. So, yeah, you know, just as much as I do up to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, does anybody else have any uh, old business that they wish to bring up at this time besides what I have? Okay, moving on to new business, uh, I asked uh, if we'd all we annually. Uh, we have a, a, our own agenda outside of the town's agenda where we list things that we review annually. And because of some of our meetings being mixed back and forth, uh, one of the items that we review twice a year is rates. And because there is nothing in our budget or in our uh, growth right now creating any discussion or need for it, I'm going to make a motion that we just uh, pass on the discussion of any rate as everything will remain the same as the current rates of the previous year. Does anybody have any discussion in that area? Mm -hmm. That was supposed to be discussed in January. Well, okay, so, so that will be no, I'm, I'm passed with down you. until the next six months. Yeah. September. Uh, the other one was uh, our annual review of our commissioner's rules which I believe uh, I mentioned that everybody could uh, take a look to see if they want to add or amend or accept them into the following year. Uh, Darlene made one change to them last year. Uh, can't recall which month it was, it was just adding one statement in there. 
Darlene, do you remember what the what the addition was? Excuse me, I'm sorry. What was that? On the commissioner's rules last year, you made a small entry updating the commissioner's rules. Um, I don't. I know that we had. A, I do have a copy of it for. Um, that okay. it was it was regarding the fact that there was a 60 day grace period now is that what you're the information you're looking for or something else well i the revision that i happen to have on mine is dated april 12 2018 and i know i will find it in my notes uh and get back to you so we can uh, i know you updated the commissioner's rules now maybe we forgot to put the revised date at the bottom I'm not sure. You may want to check in the booklet. Um, but, gentlemen, uh, one thing that uh, when I became chairman of the uh, sewer commissioner, we had a lot of controversy going on and what the board members can do or should do. And, and uh, some of the things that were brought to our attention was very appropriate and gave us a chance to get a little better organized. So we came up with the commissioner's rules, which is something that's needed. And uh, it's benefited us a great deal, including the bylaws. This all created when the bylaws were trying to be updated by the town of Sutton. So uh, we put into our calendar an annual review of these things to uh, review them and be satisfied with them, uh, recommend any changes that need, might need to be as, as things move on. Uh, there might be a new section in there, including the, uh, the bylaws that are reviewed once in a while. Uh, right now, the only time bylaws, I believe, that has been changed is if there was any rate discussion. And uh, I didn't have anything to rate, uh, do that, except that there was some water rate evaluation. I don't know if that, Donald, did you know if any of that change happened in Manchild between commercial and residential? No, nothing okay. changed on that there. And, I think it stayed the same as well. Right. Um, that was the only issue Jack and Kyle might remember our discussion was whether there'd be difference between industrial and residential when it came to the sewer rates. And we were staying right with what the water department does and the tax does in Sutton. So if uh, the commissioners could look at that and perhaps uh, give me any feedback you want, even if it's just terminology, maybe you may not like the paragraph. If you'd like to have something uh, uh, clearly stated and uh, better than what it is at this point, um, we welcome any kind of changes on that. And uh, each time we make a change, Darlene, we want to do the bottom tagline, uh, which is a revision date. That means we added or took something out. Okay, I, the, the current one that I have that I was speaking of was changed on March 5th of 2020. Okay, that must be the one I'm thinking about. Yeah. Okay, I, I just wasn't sure if that was something else you were looking for, but I do have the date on that. Okay, well, if you could get me that new version, I think you might have given it to me, but I, half my files are, are still in a box. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, so I couldn't find my, I only found my 2018 copy. All right. Uh, maybe you could I'll just uh, email it over to me, just so I have that the one you have. I appreciate it. Yes, of course. Thank you. Neil? So if there's any discussion about the rules or any, uh, what, why we have them, or yeah. I That's, didn't want to ramble on too much about it, but uh, one of those that be good, feel good that we have this part of our organization. Would it be all right if Darlene could uh, copy that, the up-to-date rules? It's a single sheet and- uh, Two pages. Page, well, whatever. I think it's no more than two pages. If it's, I think it's, I don't know. Right. I yes, say, by all means, I think get, get, a, get a map to, John, uh, to Jack and myself, and I'll keep it at, you know, not in, in the office. I'll keep it at my house. So. Yeah. And that's and to, each time we make a change, we want to send a new one out to each commissioner. And it's also part of the booklet. So if we ever right. need to really find a one, it's always in that booklet as well. Uh, I mean, I have an entire uh, PDF file uh, going back to the very first meeting I conducted, but uh, I don't know if I can find uh, the, the hard paper on it uh, for that particular change in March. But so, Darlene, uh, 
please uh, copy all of the commissioners and uh, whether Donald uh, would like to be on that, you know, to, anything you might want to recommend changing uh, would be fine. So we can bring this up again in about roughly six months if we want or, you, or at any time if you have a recommendation by anybody. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Under uh, new business, the uh, agenda, it's also an annual uh, agenda thing that we do. We do it in July, but we've kind of like missed our few meetings there. Uh, and we're trying to play a little catch up. So I believe we're still um, dialing I guess I'm going to have to reference to you again the physical 2020 21 town of Sutton sewer commissioners calendar events. Was that updated at all? Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, so maybe. You want a copy uh, you, sent again? Yeah, that would be okay. really good. Uh, because I, uh, we, we put on the last one I remember, we put an asterisk next to something that denotes subject to change. And that was because we were having our second one of every month and then we started changing them from eight o'clock to 2 p.m. and stuff. Um, I, will so, I will resend that. Okay. Okay. That would be appreciative. That way every commissioner is uh, up with the current uh, status. And then I have one last thing under new business and that's our information about our website. And Carl, I remember you doing a little bit uh, in the past when you first came on the board about get, getting our website and that information on, and I believe our commissioner's rules are on that. Is that correct, uh, Darlene too? Yes, okay. I'm able to, to work on the website and make changes. Okay. All right, so that's all the, that's all I have on the new business except for uh, the next meeting day. Unless anybody have anything on the new business they want to bring up? Donald, nothing new? No, as long as we have it before March 17th, I'm happy. <laughs> Okay. Um, so the next meeting would be uh, March 10th at 2 p.m. Everybody okay with that? What? The second Wednesday. 17th? Of the month. Oh, no. Second Wednesday of the month, which is March second 10th. Second Wednesday of the month. Is... Today's the 10th. Is that a good date, darling? Yes, that day works. Thanks. Two o'clock again? Yes. Okay. Everybody okay with that? Yep. Very good. With all that, uh, any further discussion? I'll take a motion from somebody to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.